a functional medicine certified health coach and I'm so happy that you're here today. Do you want to feel normal again? Do you want to uh, be who you were before your illness took over your life? Uh, if you feel like that, know that you are not alone. Right? One of the major challenges of dealing with any kind of chronic illness is the kind of emotional upheaval that comes along with that. Right, It's a small uh, challenges uh, that we deal with on a daily basis and uh, you know the symptoms and all the other things that come with it right whether it's emotional uh, and of course physical and in today's session I want to share with you the story of a client who I worked with a while ago she worked with me for uh, I think about a year and a half and when she started working with me she had a, she came with me uh, she came to me with a whole host of severe health issues and you know with uh, low self-esteem uh, lack of self-confidence uh, you know low self-worth so all these actually typically go hand in hand with many chronic illnesses especially the ones that she had which also reflected uh, on the outside uh, in terms of her physical appearance right and by the time we finished working together uh, she actually uh, did get married that was one of the things that she wanted to you know she wanted a life partner who understood her and she got that and she also became a functional medicine certified health coach uh, you know so that that was a proud moment for me as well so uh, what we um, you know and that's the thing that i'm talking about because what we often don't realize is you know other emotional you know uh, costs of dealing with any kind of chronic disease right and uh, when you're dealing with a chronic disease that means you are struggling with different kind of challenges day in and day out right it's this you know this kind you know, sort of no let up uh, which is not the case with typically an acute condition especially infectious disease when you know that there is an end point and you know it will sort of get better eventually uh, with any kind of chronic illness especially the kind of chronic diseases that i see in my practice <clears throat> And I work with women with primarily autoimmune conditions, uh, even other related conditions uh, like diabetes, uh, you know, thyroid issues, uh, insulin resistance, and even cancer for that matter. And uh, you know, we are uh, if we don't address uh, the emotional cost, the emotional health, the spiritual health, it becomes really difficult to uh, stay motivated. You know, stay on track and it's you know sometimes we forget all that right we even in functional medicine even in functional medicine where we you know strive to address uh, find and address the root causes we often become so focused on the diet uh, on the lifestyle on supporting detoxification using you know supplements all of these you know, using data from the lab uh, you know functional medicine testing all of which are extremely important but we often overlook some key aspects right and this is um, this is what I'm going to talk about today actually so just hang on in there and my objective in working with uh, clients you know I've realized over the years is that they should have tools in their toolbox right in their toolkit you know and I like to call it a toolkit they should have tools in their toolkit such that when they stop working with me they are not dependent on anyone per se right of course uh, there might be certain uh, flare-ups or certain crisis that's different completely different but by and large they should be able to figure out what's you know what are the changes that they need to make some minor tweaks uh, you know what their body is asking for them whether it's more rest whether it's uh, more nutrition you know so they should be in a position to figure out and give uh, to themselves what they need you know so this is and this is completely doable um, but we just need to teach uh, we, we just need to know that and this is what I teach in my own coaching practice and uh, a consistent self-care is actually the key here a consistent self-care practice is often the missing ingredient right and this is why self-care forms a key theme inside my own coaching program uh, it's a three pillar framework and i call it peaceful mind healthy body that's the name of the framework and the three pillars of the framework are simplify reconnect and sustain and in fact at the intersection of uh, sustain and simplify forms uh, self care right it because i that's what i do for my clients i if they need to create long term health i simplify the whole process for them the health creation process and uh, because they need to sustain these uh, you know uh, long term health because we are looking at long term health of course uh, you know uh, i teach them how to do that as well right so which is why 
सेल्फ केयर कम्स एट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ दीज टू पिलर्स राइट सो दैट्स द पीसफुल माइंड हेल्दी बॉडी कोचिंग प्रोग्राम एंड यू नो आई विल शेयर अ लिंक यू कैन चेक इट आउट और यू कैन ऑल्सो शेड्यूल अ कॉल आई ओपन अप अ फ्यू स्लॉट्स फॉर अ फ्री थर्टी मिनट्स कॉल विथ मी सो यू कैन यू नो हेड टू अनिंदिता रूमटा डॉट कॉम फॉरवर्ड स्लैश कॉल अनिंदिता रूमटा डॉट कॉम फॉरवर्ड स्लैश कॉल एंड शेड्यूल अ कॉल सो वेन आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग विद दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लाइन लाइक आई जस्ट वुड लाइक टू शेयर यू नो मोर अबाउट हर एंड यू नो बिकॉज इट्स इट्स सॉर्ट ऑफ इंस्पायरिंग इवन फॉर मी वेन आई सी द काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस द काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट टेक्स प्लेस एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लाइंट यू नो वी डिड अ फ्यू थिंग दैट वर रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्चुअली दिस इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल माई क्लाइंट्स बिकॉज इट्स पार्ट ऑफ द फ्रेम वर्क एंड दिस वॉज इन अडिशन टू ऑल द चेंजेस दैट वी वर मेकिंग इन हर डायट लाइफ स्टाइल स्ट्रेस एक्सेट्रा राइट सो दोज वर ऑलरेडी गोइंग ऑन but some of the other areas that as i said you know it often gets overlooked equally important and which is why i'm talking about how she managed to prioritize self care not very easy for women is that she first figured out which particular areas of self care needed her focus right she needed to focus on obviously there are different areas of self care physical emotional spiritual you know professional so there different different areas and uh, so i provided her a questionnaire which i do for all my clients and uh, sort of she f- figured out that these were the areas that were needed more of uh, you know more help in terms of uh, figuring out that you know these are the areas that she needed to prioritize in terms of the healthcare so uh, self care so so the like five six uh, areas that she needed to work on she also learned uh, about her own strengths right we all have 24 character strengths i've spoken about it i've written about it and knowing your strengths helps you to figure out you know better ways of reaching your goals setting your goals what is important to you how, you know how to deal with the challenges that come along a very very key tool in your toolkit in my clients toolkit so that's something that she you know she learned and she could basically uh, use whenever uh, she wanted to she became aware of the connection between her mind and her body right there are various ways that we can do that and one of my favorite and my clients favorite uh, activity is to use a lemon so it's basically uh, using a lemon and uh, uh, doing a guided visualization which you can actually figure out you know that there is a superb connection between your mind and your body and of course uh, working on uh, creating an environment for healing right so different because by making simple choices just different choices you can do that you know it, so that's one of my again one of the key pillars is simplifying because often uh, it gets overwhelming for most people simply because things are so complicated right i mean we make it even more complicated than it has to be uh certain things are but it, there are ways to sort of make it easier on ourselves uh simple thing is getting into say a diet right and there's so many diets to choose from how do you figure out do should you be getting onto a keto or a paleo or this you know or that or a vegan or so rather than focusing on the person right what your requirements are what is your uh unique bio individual requirement what does your body need at this point in time and that actually also changes from time to time and that's what will guide you rather than doing that we get guided by labels right so that's something that i i uh, teach my uh, help my clients unlearn that right so it's not so much about which particular diet as it is more about what what kind of foods that you should be eating how you should be eating those foods consuming and um, there's so many different aspects maybe it's more you know switching to organic foods so of you know all of those things and of course uh, in this particular case she learned how to incorporate appreciation and gratitude into her life into her daily routine so she started doing journaling a uh, gratitude journaling on a daily basis and that actually helped her immensely right uh, so i always ask at the end of um, the coaching session that like, what really helped you and this is the f- sort of i get all this feedback at that time which is really important so while these things may sound very basic and very simple they actually are uh, really pro, you know powerful in terms of bringing about you know a long term change which is actually transformation and you know you uh, because one of the reasons i find that people remain stuck even while they are addressing the root cause so you might already be doing certain things to address your gut health to add in probiotics to change your diet you know so you're doing all of that you've been guided by a functional medicine uh, practitioner coach etc but often you know sometimes what is missing is intrinsic motivation to 
you know you're not uh, you haven't really uncovered what drives you right what drives you to make those particular changes what are what is driving you you know what you are looking forward to uh, you know what is important to you so these are some of the things and i'm going to just touch upon them briefly in this particular kind client's case so again coming back to uh, her uh, we delve deep into uh, all of these areas with the help of different activities i mentioned journaling as one of them guided visualizations i do a lot of um, self reflection activities uh, so i take my clients through 15 uh, 20 minutes kind of uh, activities different kind of activities more of self reflection uh, you know asking them different questions this this technique is called motivational interviewing where you ask open ended questions and it helps it's not for me as much as it is for my clients and it helped her in you know in this particular case again it helped her to uncover her own reasons for making these changes so eventually over a period of time she realized what she wanted to do with her life what kind of clothes she wanted to wear what kind of relationships she would like to you know uh, develop uh, even with her mother uh, at the time you know there was a bit of a strained relationship and because she was not really getting the support that she needed but she figured out she realized that when she changed her own way of looking at things uh, her mother also her relationship with her mother improved right and all all other aspects of her life as well in fact i you know this is one of my favorite questions uh, as a feedback and i asked her that what was the best bit about uh, this coaching for you right uh, so she uh, the, uh, this she had two answers actually because i you know i had asked her twice during our work together and um, her answer the first answer was that the you know uh, me asking her what are you celebrating this week right so that's not the first question i asked my client what are you celebrating this week uh, you know what is something that has brought a smile to your face maybe very small and lot of times it is because if you're grappling with a lot of health issues there may not be too many things which you can look forward to but there is usually something right it might be a smile from your child a smile from your uh, from a stranger somebody holding open you know uh, holding open the door for you uh maybe it's the warm meal that you get at the end of the day right uh, so it's these small things that matter maybe it's the uh you know um rose or any other flower that you saw right today morning when you were walking in the garden so it can be anything but it's just training your mind to look for those small moments so that's what her answer that you know asking uh asking her what are you celebrating this week and it made her realize or actually start seeing the hidden moments of you know hidden joyful moments in her life right that was actually one of the not the diet so much not um the lifestyle the supplements etc all which are also important but this was the best bit of the coaching for her the second answer was that you know uh, and i quote i didn't realize myself getting transformed and it seemed effortless right so that's what happens when you know things are simplified for you you're given a step by step process so you are not breaking your head and trying to figure out you know what you need to do and when you are able to actually put in a self consistent self care practice it's bound to this kind of transformation is bound to take place so so again using the framework uh, of peaceful mind healthy body uh, you know which is the three pillar framework and as i mentioned self care is one of the uh themes of this framework and it's at the intersection of reconnect and sustain because uh, if somebody is working with me i want them not only to get well but to stay well right and she uh, you know she learned how to tap into her inner guidance she learned what brought meaning to her life and she learned what was really important to her which is why her life, you know she uh, which is when transformation becomes effortless as it did in her you know in in her case so this is also possible for you right so that's my message to you today it is possible for you uh, because you you learn how to work with your body right uh, you don't need to rely only on external experts or even you know or coaches or anyone else right because you are guided by your own body you become aware of what is important to you again right so your goals your dreams your vision so that's something that self care uh brings about for you you become aware of what brings joy into your life so once again all these things uh become really important 
uh, all these you uh, you train yourself or you know you become aware of how many moments of joy is actually present in your life no matter how bad life might be right now no matter how many health issues you are dealing with and you become clear of what brings meaning to your life without meaning there's not really true happiness right uh, so there might be pleasure there might be pleasurable moments but without knowing what brings meaning without knowing our why it's really hard to go on especially when things get tough so and it's actually one of the things that bring happiness to our lives true happiness so how can you not be transformed when you are living like this when you're living in your truth how can you not be transformed into who you were meant to be right to the become the best version of you so that's bound to happen that's the beauty of an approach like this it's not just as i mentioned you know like getting well is of course uh, an elimination diet we talk about eliminating certain foods is important doing uh, lab testing is important functional medicine testing gives you even more data uh, supplements can help provide nutrients that your body desperately needs right now craves right now all of that be as it may what is often missing is this self care piece and you know the self care piece is propped up by all that i'm talking about right now so how can you not be transformed into who you were meant to be if you you know go down this road because you are guided by your own intuition and by your own wisdom how can you not reclaim your life with or without an illness right it's not only for you if um, you are not uh, keeping well or if you have been diagnosed with a chronic disease even if you don't have any diseases holds true for you uh, you know equally well and this is exactly what happened with this client with my client and even when uh, i'm in touch with her she stopped working with me a couple of years ago but even when i uh, reach out to her you know i'm in touch with actually all my clients uh, you know this is something that gives me gives me uh, you know a lot of um, joy to see that a lot of the changes because you know when the when it's when there is true transformation when there is real change that happens from within a lot of it is permanent right you don't undo it again and you don't forget about it because you you are not the same person you used to be earlier if you are not the same person who you were earlier right uh, you know who you know what got into you got you into and you know the, the circumstances etc that led you to uh, having different challenges etc then what happens is that a lot of the changes that have taken place stay with you right whether you are not you are working with somebody becomes immaterial and that's what i want for you too now you will have tools at your disposal there are ways that you do that and one of the primary tools is having a consistent self care practice right and prior because i find that when i talk to a lot of women one of the thing that comes about is that i don't have time and i don't have time for self care nobody has time for anything that they don't want to do right that is precisely why we don't get enough time for sleep we don't get time for exercise we don't get time to cook uh, pre- you know prepare uh, for uh, you know healthy meals like that there has to be a lot of preparation and planning which is often missing so it's going to happen on its own uh, next exercise is not going to happen on its own nobody is going to come and give you extra 5 minutes or even an extra second in a day right it's not it's not possible you know that i know that so it's not about not having enough time it's about making the time so when you actually figure out what is important to you what brings you joy uh, you know why you need to do why you need to make better choices you know why uh, so all of these things right when you when you realize the importance of working with your body rather than against it uh, when you figure out the importance of tuning into your body you know what your body is trying to tell you in terms of symptoms rather than medicating it away or com- simply ignoring it you will make time right no matter how busy you are and we can of course never be too busy for ourselves we can simply never be too busy for our own health right so you will find the time exactly what this client did she prioritized her own self care her own health over everything else and over a period of time these things don't change overnight but over a period of time she learned how to manage her underlying conditions of course that is a big part of it figure out what is really going on find out the root causes but she also understood that uh, uh, all these underlying conditions were not only physical but they were mental and emotional as well so she she realized that right and as i said journaling made played a big role guided visualizations 
you know, everybody has different ways of doing this, so there is no one right way. That's the beauty of it, right? You have to find what what uh, brings you joy, right? How what works for you. And she, in her particular case, she created her own morning routine that worked for her, which included again, in her case, journaling, etc., yoga. Uh, she started keeping a gratitude journal that played a big role in her healing process. And she started to make changes in her life with a clear sense of direction. So she finally became clear what she wanted from her life, right? Most of us when asked, we are clear about what we don't want. Look, I don't want this. I don't like this job. I don't like this person. But when you ask, what do you want? We are not very sure because we don't really think about these things. We are not taught how to think like this, right? So rather than only focusing on what we don't want, uh, because that's where our energy focus goes, energy follows, we we are much better served and we see results when we focus on things that we do want. So in her particular case, as I mentioned, that she wanted to figure out, a, she was already working, but she wanted to figure out some other alternative uh, opportunities. She uh, also wanted a life partner who would really understand her and appreciate her for who she is. Because she, uh, you know, let's face it, if you have health issues, you already uh, made certain dietary changes and maybe some certain lifestyle changes. Not very easy to find someone who understands all that, right? Not only understands, but accepts. Uh, but she did that. She did that and she got married. Uh, and she uh, also, on the other hand, uh, as far as her professional life is concerned, while she uh, continued to uh, work, she also figured out that she wanted to help others who were you know, dealing with similar health issues. So she became a functional medicine health coach uh, from India as well. And she started carrying herself differently, right? At the end of the day, when I st at the end of the program, when I stopped working with her, by the time I stopped working with her, her, her whole, uh, you know, uh, way of carrying herself had changed the she was wearing clothes that she'd been wanting to wear for a long time you know her sense of her self-confidence had increased her sense of self-worth had increased and she you know improved her relationship with her mother more importantly with herself right and uh, yeah so this is this is how the story ended at that particular point in time of course her life continues uh, but just to give you a glimpse into what is truly possible no matter what your situation is no matter what's going on and as i mentioned that all of these things can you know really help you with or without an existing chronic illness right it's not about that but it's about uh, understanding realizing the importance of a daily consistent self-care practice and knowing why you need to prioritize it right and understanding your reasons for doing that not somebody else's not because what i think but you need to be clear at what value it brings to your life, right? It just changes your life. It just transforms you as a person. And in, you are able to reclaim your life. You're able to take charge of your health. And you're not the same person uh, that you were. So if you would like to know more about this, about how this would work, and just get an you know, overview of this, as I, met, you know, as I mentioned that I've opened up a few, uh, there are a few uh, remaining spots left for a free 30 minutes discovery call. So head to anindhitarunta.com forward slash call, anindhitarunta.com forward slash call or head to the link in the bio.